The fourth film in the Wong Fei Hong saga loses Jet Li after falling out with Choi Hak and inherits Wushu champion Vincent Zhao Wen Zhuo. Uh, this time Choi Hak steps down from the director's chair, though still serving as producer and now Yun Bun for Rain. Continuing from the previous installment, once again Fei Hong is asked to defend the pride of the Chinese by defeating the evil foreigners, mainly the Germans, in yet again another epic lion dance competition. Of course the foreigners being evil as they are, they have various tricks up their sleeves. At the same time, Fei Hong has to defeat the ladies of the Red Lantern Clan, a sect out to eradicate the evil foreigners. Once upon a time in China, Four suffers much from covering the same story elements as the previous chapters in the saga, given a feeling of deja vu. As with the White Lotus sect of episode 2, the Red Lantern Society consists of much of the same zealous individuals who are possessed with ridding the foreigners from China's territory. Fei Hong ventures into the den of the Red Lantern Society and confronts their leader, the Holy Mother, as he did during his confrontation of the White Lotus leader. An epic lion dance is also something that played out during the third installment. Returning once again is Max Mock as Leung Fun, who provides much mischief and comic relief. Also returning is Xiong Xingxing as Clubfoot and Lao Sheng as Wang Keying. Xiong Xingxing is excellent in his role and is definitely a delight in this film. Uh, Lao Sheng is in fine form as Wang Keying, but is given little to do. Joining the roster is Jin Wang as Aunt Mei, filling in for the absence of Aunt Yi, played by Rosamund Kwan. Jin Wang is pleasing as Aunt Mei and hints at a new love interest for Fei Hong. Serving as the foreign villain's henchman is Billy Chow as Iron Fist and Qin Galo as Sword Wielding Liu. As with the problems that face the third installment, the fights never feel fully realized as they begin and are over pretty quickly. It's a shame as Yun Bang demonstrates creative wire choreography and has a bunch of talented screen performers. There are action highlights throughout the film but they are short-lived. Fei Hong's escape from the prison is evidence of this as it clearly shows Yun Bang's excellent choreography and Vincent Chow's martial arts prowess. Zhao's competent martial arts skills are very evident and his movements are crisp and clean that is only capable from a wushu practitioner. Fei Hong's confrontation with the holy mother of the Red Lantern Society should have been an excellent display of fighting skills but is bogged down with wire work. As for the finale, we are treated to an overdose of lion dance action that sadly never fully allows our protagonists to demonstrate their martial arts skills. Instead, we are given weird contraptions from the gigantic lions courtesy of the foreigners. Max Mock has little to do in the action department, though he is convincing enough. Xiong Xingxing is a treat as per usual, but only has little skirmishes that shows his skills. Lao Shen also gets to show off some great hand-to-hand -hand combat that is short-lived. The likes of Billy Chow and Qin Ka Lot as villains should have been worthy of opponents for the likes of Vincent Chow and Xiong Xingxing, but unfortunately the final throwdown ends with a whimper. Vincent Chow fits comfortably as the new Wang Fei Hong, demonstrating an air of authority and sensibility, as well as carrying great mannerisms and the posture of Wang Fei Hong. Zhao possesses charm and innocence and is evident with his brief moments with Aunt Mei. Yun Bun has learnt well from Choi Hak and shows great pacing as well as much kinetic movement of the camera. There's a great sense of detail accompanied by excellent framing and editing and that is expected from the series. Production values are of a high standard as is the musical score. The Once Upon a Time in China saga has always been about patriotism and pride for the country and Once Upon a Time in China 4 serves its purpose just fine. Though it never achieves the memorable set pieces of part 1 or 2, nor does it delve into the political elements of the previous outings as much. Once Upon a Time in China 4 still provides enough entertainment to recommend a viewing. The action is brisk, creative and full of kinetic energy and Vincent Zhao makes a fine substitute for Jet Li. Sadly a good print of Once Upon a Time in China 4 and 5 is difficult to track down. Oh,